Welcome to day one of the Ladysmith Manor 12 Days of Christmas. I'm so excited to be able to share the next 12 days with you and each day I'm going to be posting a video that's themed around that day in the 12 Days of Christmas poem. Now day one is obviously partridge in a pear tree. So I have my own partridge in a pear tree. Well, I guess technically it's a robin in a pear tree. I couldn't find a partridge, so I had to go with a robin, and I figured that was good enough. Um, but each day, I'm gonna I'm gonna give my little quirky twist on the 12 days of Christmas for you, and then I'm gonna share some of my tips and tricks, and give you a, give you a little behind the scenes um, look at how I decorate. And so I've got some really great inspiration and ideas for you that are very very easy and that make a big impact that you can use at in your home on your Christmas dinner table and in your decorating and so each day I'm going to share with you a different um, idea that you will be able to use. Now we're also going to share our 12 days of kindness. Now this is definitely the season for giving back and um, so what I've decided to do is each day um, I will be pulling out of my champagne cooler a tag and on these tags we have 12 different um, ideas for giving back and acts of kindness. So each day I will pull one of these out and I will challenge you along with us um, to do that act of kindness on that day. And we just want to share and, and spread a little bit more joy this time of the year. So we're going to be doing that each day. And I've also got a really cool 12 Days of Christmas paper craft that we're going to be building one piece each day. So by the end of the 12 days, we'll have this very, very cool project. So stay tuned to find out what that's going to look like. Um, but let me start by showing you what we've been up to, what we're going to be doing in our dining room, because we're going to be working on doing some decorating in the dining room, and that's where we're going to start today. As you can see behind me, our dining room table is completely empty. And each day over the next 12 days, we're gonna set another table setting. And I'm gonna share some tricks and tips and ideas and inspiration for you with your Christmas decorating as we create this table together over the next 12 days. So for our table setting today, I wanted to share a really, really simple idea that you can use for decorating throughout your house, but particularly for your Christmas dinner table or a dinner table over the holiday season um, because it's just so, so simple. And obviously today is all about partridges in a pear tree. So one of the things I love to use is fruit on tables. And what I am gonna be showing you today is a very simple way to do place name holders on your table for Christmas. And it's as simple as taking a pear and painting it gold and adding the name. So I've done this with apples as well, and it just has a really um, effective way of making something. So this will sit in the center of the, of the plate on the table. And uh, we, to make it a little bit more Christmassy, I've decided this time to paint it gold. And now you can see the difference. So this is the, obviously the pair before, and then this is the pair just spray painted gold. So all I've done is I've taken this, um, I've taken it actually down to the basement. Um, whenever you're using spray paint, please make sure you're using it in a ventilated space. So outside or down in the basement, we've got lots of space down there. Um, and we just very, very simply spray painted the pair with this beautiful gold. And it's come up beautifully and it has this really lovely sheen to it. And uh, we just used this Rust-Oleum um, metallic paint, but again, you could, you could almost paint it with uh, a brush. If you've got some old gold paint at home, you can use some spray paint, very, very cheap to buy. Um, so once you have spray painted your um, pair, we are gonna now add a little tag because obviously we want it to be able to show uh, where people are sitting at the table. And so I've just I'm just using, um, it's, it's a slight card stock, it's a little bit thicker than regular paper. And I'm just going to cut out um, a long, thin piece of card that looks kind of like this shape. Let me show you here. So we're just going to cut something this, this kind of shape. And to make it look a little bit more unique, I'm just going to cut the end to give it a kind of flag 
like feel. So I've just cut the end to give it like a little tail. And then we obviously want it to sit on our pear. So all I'm using is um, a single hole punch. And again, if you've got one of those two hole punches at home, you can totally use that. Just put, uh, put the piece of paper under one of the uh, punches. And now I've got a little hole. And so I'm just gonna simply put that hole over the stalk. And you can now see that it has this really cute little tag on top of the pet. Now obviously we wanna write the person's name on. So I'm just gonna take this off again so I can write the name. And again, I've just got a gold pen. You could use any color. And you're just gonna write the name of the person on there. And then just pop it back on the stalk. And you've now got your very own gold pear table setting. So it's time to put together the first place setting on our table. And I'm gonna be using our golden pear as the centerpiece. Um, and I am using our beautiful vintage um, china. So I've got two different sizes of plate. Um, one, obviously the larger one. The other one is a smaller size, so it fits inside. And I'm actually using a very, very pretty vintage napkin, but you can pretty much use any kind of napkin you, you like, any color, any style. And there's all sorts of different ways of, of essentially presenting your napkin on the table. Uh, but one of the ways I like to do it is by just folding it corner to corner, across ways, and then laying it on the plate. So it just sits across the center of the plate. And then I place the smaller plate on top. And I just think it gives a nice kind of effect. Uh, and then I'm going to add my pear into the middle there. And we've got our knife and fork. And I think that if someone came to this and sat down at your dinner table, this would be a really nice way for them to um, see their name, know where they're gonna see it, and to start their dinner. I always love to create new projects at the manor and things that are a little bit unique. And I found this 12 Days of Christmas paper project. And uh, each day, you create another set of uh, paper pieces for uh, the relevant day and when you've completed all 12 days it makes this really cute Christmas tree. So I thought that I would do that for the manor and we would do one a day each day over the 12 days that we're going to be doing our videos. So um, if you would love to join me in making this for your home, um, if you love paper craft or some, a project like this then I would love you for, to join me. And uh, I very, very simply, this is a very simple pattern um, that came with each of the pieces that you cut out. I actually just found it online. Um, I have no affiliation with them. I am not connected with them at all. Um, but I will put the link below this video if you do want to go and get the pattern. It's very, very cheap. It's on, it's in down, a digital downloads. So you get it instantaneously. Um, but I thought we would make it each day and then by the end of the 12 days we've got the whole uh, Christmas tree made that I'll have up here in the manor and if you join me I would love to be able to see your photos of your 12 days of Christmas paper craft. So it's really very very simple and uh, I'm just using the paper that uh, is actually uh, one of the rolls of paper I actually got from Ikea. Um, it's kids um, paper because you start by we have to start by cutting out our pieces because obviously when we cut the paper it's going to be concertina together we'll cut it once and then it will create this concertina of effect for the characters so um, I've started by uh, cutting out these strips of paper that we're going to use and uh, each of these strips is about 36 inches long, it's five inches wide, and then every two and a half inches, I've just made a little pencil line because each of these two and a half inches is what we're gonna call a block. So depending on how many characters we're cutting out in our concertina, we'll, we'll, 
will cut off so many blocks. So the first block, um, character with the partridge in the pear tree, we're just going to use two blocks. The next will be three blocks. The next will be four blocks. And then that will create the characters that will get longer and longer as we get closer to day 12. So my the first job is to very, very simply cut out the paper. And I've just done that for, I've done actually 10 pieces. So I'll have enough for the whole 12 days. And I, like I say, I've just drawn my pencil lines in at two and a half inches across. Now my first day is going to be the partridge in the pear tree. So my, I'm gonna start with my two blocks. So you can see here, I've just cut off two of these little blocks and I've folded it in half ready for my pear tree. So the easiest way to get your pattern onto the paper is to use some tracing paper and just trace around the pattern. Now, if you don't have tracing paper, what I've used is I've just used parchment paper, which uh, I have in the drawer for baking. And uh, I have traced the pattern onto this sheet and then I am gonna turn this over and I'm just gonna rub this side with lead from my pencil along all the lines. So on for this first one, I'm using two blocks. So I have cut off two of these blocks and I folded it in half. And then I'm going to take my paper with the lead side down and I'm going to put that up against the crease. And then I am going to trace back over my line. And then when I take this off, you can now see the shape on your paper. So now I've got my pattern traced onto my two blocks. It's now ready to cut out. So I'm just using a pair of little scissors and uh, what's gonna be easiest, I think, for um, the small hole. So any areas that I need to cut in internally, I'm just gonna use a hole punch because that will give me the hole and then I can use the scissors to kind of cut around it. So my partridge in the pear tree is now cut out and that's going to sit right at the top of my um, display and then each day we'll be making the two turtle doves tomorrow and then all the different characters over the next 12 days to make up the rest. So before I leave today I want to challenge you to our first act of kindness. So I am going to pull out of my Cool, champagne cooler, my first tag. And on this tag, it will have, I've, I've put in 12 different ways we can spread a little uh, kindness. So today's tag says, draw a happy face on all the bananas in the fruit bowl. So I challenge you today to draw a happy face on all the bananas in your fruit bowl and see how many smiles you get when people come by and see those bananas. And uh, I know that if I saw a fruit bowl filled with bananas with smiley faces, it would make me smile. So I challenge you to do this today. Uh, I would love to see your pictures of um, your smiley face bananas. So um, please take a picture and include it in our Facebook group. And um, each day, it, it, sometimes it's the small things that make the big difference to people. And so there are so many little ways that we can spread a little kindness and a little bit of joy and a little bit of happiness. So hopefully this does, um, puts a smile on a few people's face today. So I will um, leave you today and I'm gonna really looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we have, uh, is gonna be two turtle doves. So join me tomorrow to see my take on uh, two turtle doves. And I have a really, 
really cool little um, table setting for you that I'm gonna share, so, so easy, um, but will definitely impress your guests. So join me tomorrow to find out what that looks like and for another act of kindness that we can share with others. So have a um, wonderful day, enjoy today, and I will see you tomorrow.